Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a foundation review for you guys. So I am going to be doing a foundation review on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have been promising you guys a review on this foundation for the longest time, but to be completely honest, it is very, very hard to find my shade. I ordered it on Amazon and found it in the store. And I thought Desert, I think it was Desert Beige. There are like 50 million shades of beige in this foundation. Like everything is some sort of beige. Finally, yesterday, was in Meyer and I was like oh my gosh they have darker shades than the normal stock that they usually carry so I was able to pick up the shade caramel and I have been out in the Sun I feel like I'm a little darker so I feel like caramel will match me better so we'll see if this works out this foundation I find is very interesting it said it was tested under seven light conditions which is amazing it says natural lighting, harsh lighting, all of that jazz. And I am in the bathroom right now, which is the worst possible lighting. And I know that I usually film in natural lighting, but I would be lying to you if I said that I did my makeup every single day in natural light or using a ring light. Ain't nobody got time for that. Usually just do my makeup in this type of lighting, bathroom lighting, just like every other girl that I know. So I am going to apply and then test it and show you guys how it looks in natural lighting. I'm going to try to take a few pictures in flash photography and in just regular photography and I'm going to ask a few people how they like my makeup and we're going to see how it lasts throughout the day. So if you guys want to see my honest review on the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, then just keep on watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button so you never miss a new upload. So enough talking, let's jump right in. Okay, so I just got out of the shower, I cleansed my face, I put moisturizer on, I put eye cream on. So how I usually apply my foundation is I usually use the Smashbox Primer Water. It's super simple, efficient, I just like to be quick in the morning. And I'm not gonna show you guys how the foundation looks unprimed. If you guys want that in my next foundation review, let me know down in the comment section, but I always prime my face, so I'm just gonna do what I normally do. So first off, I am in the shade Caramel, and we're gonna see how this works. It is the shade 374C. It has this little paddle applicator. Um, I don't know if this is the most sanitary, but it's quick, and if you don't like getting foundation on the back of your hand, then this would be for you. So I will do half of my face with a brush and half of my face with a beauty blender so that you guys can see the difference in application. So this is supposed to be a full coverage foundation, which is perfect because I have been having a lot of breakouts. I have some hyperpigmentation and it's just that time of the month, so my skin hates me. Well, I am just going to apply this all over my, ooh, a lot comes out on that little dropper. That's surprising to me. So I'm first going to take a Morphe. This is the M439 brush, and I'm just going to buff this into my face. It kind of smells like caramel mixed with paint. So this is the first layer with the brush. It gave pretty decent coverage, but as you can see down here, some of my problem areas, some of my problem areas are still peeking through. Now I'm going to be taking a Morphe Beauty Blender sponge. This is damp, and I'm just going to blend this in. Now this foundation is very, very matte. I'm trying to stay in focus without doing manual focus because it's so loud and you can hear it in like all the videos. It's kind of annoying. Looking at the wet side of my face versus the dry side, why am I out of breath? Looking at the wet side versus the dry side, it does seem like this dries a little lighter. Maybe I'm just, maybe that's just me. But it gives pretty good coverage for a first based layer. So now I'm going to go over the rest of my face with the second layer because you guys know I love a full face. Oh wow, okay, so this is the second layer. And as you can see, dang, it completely covered but all of my dark spots are covered all of my freckles are covered wow pretty impressive okay now moving on to the second layer of the beauty blender side the coverage is never going to be as intense as a actual brush but i did a decent job of covering i cannot complain but i really don't mind like freckles and stuff showing through i'm like that's like natural. I'm like, but the acne, 
no I don't want to see it I want to see it I want to hear it I want to feel it I also picked up some wet and wild concealers to try I figured if I'm gonna try the foundation I might as well try the concealers so I have medium peach medium tawny and light to medium beige here are the three and I think I'm gonna go with the medium peach and as you guys know I'm really critical on concealers not because I want to be but because I have to be these under eye bags they're no joke they're not playing around Like, I'm usually never a fan of drugstore concealers, so let's pray for this one. I mean, this concealer is very creamy. I will give it that. Does anybody else have the hardest time drawing a straight line down their nose? Because I do. So now I'm going to take my same damp beauty blender and just blend this in. So this is just the first coverage. Um, not terrible. It's not terrible, but it's not like anything to write home about. I'm not like ranting and raving about it, but it's also not the worst. Overall, I mean, it didn't give me like the best under eye coverage, but let's just go back with a second layer and try it like that. This does like a nice job of brightening my under eye, and I didn't get like a terrible amount of sleep last night, so that might be why my bags look extra pop it today. We're just gonna work with it. I'm gonna go. And get roasted by everyone I see today. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> I am using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And if a concealer does not work with my eye cream and my Laura Mercier setting powder, then <laughs> you got to go. Also picked up the Wet n Wild contour and highlight set. I just pat it away. I don't really swipe because I don't want to take away the concealer that I have underneath that. Now that is an intense highlight. We don't know what we're doing today, okay? We have no idea what we're doing. Okay, so we're back. This is the look <laughs> compared to my uh, body. I'm a little yellow, but I think we can make it work. Here is a close-up of my face. Um, you can get nice and close my pimples okay but overall it gave a very flawless application i haven't set my face that's why i look powdery so problem areas with foundation things that i judge foundation on are my smile lines do they settle into my fine lines i don't want to look older than i am so if it settles into my fine lines throughout the day then i'm out i get that some foundations settle you know the slightest bit that's fine like i'm not going to judge you but if you're if the foundation is separating on my face if it's settling into my fine lines like making my lines look like very pronounced then i'm not into it um also coverage underneath the eyes i think it was pretty good for a drugstore foundation or drugstore concealer to be honest um who knows how i will feel about that when i go into natural lighting but it covered up my acne pretty well okay so i'm going to try this out from the day let you guys know how it wears check in with you guys a couple times and then come back with you guys probably like later tonight Okay guys, it is 8.21 p.m. I have had this on all day and as you guys can see, it has settled into my fine lines pretty badly. This is, I think, from one of the dogs just looking it off. I just realized that. Underneath my eyes is creased, but not like a crazy amount because you're always going to have creasing underneath your eyes. Um, I'd say that this is just like... A minimal amount like it's really just my under eyes being dry but the biggest buzzkill here is how much this stuff settled into my fine lines and this is after me like I know I try not to touch up throughout the day but like it settled into my fine lines so bad that I had to like buff it out throughout the day so I think I'm gonna try this tomorrow I'm going to use maybe a different moisturizer I'm going to try it with my normal face products so my normal concealer none of the wet and wild products and I'm going to wear it throughout a work day and come back and let you know how it works and give my final honest opinions on it. Um, it's a beautiful foundation. It's flawless. It lasted. It didn't settle into my fine lines on my forehead. Um, the concealer even wasn't that bad. Like I, You guys know how picky I am with concealers and it worked really well. But the only thing that really, really disappointed me was how much it settled into my smile lines but like I said that could just be because I applied too much foundation so I'm going to try a lighter hand tomorrow my normal face products and then I will come back tomorrow and show you guys what I truly truly think 
Okay guys, so here is my foundation in natural lighting. These are unedited photos so you guys can get the true effect. This is in natural lighting and here are three in my car in natural lighting. I really like how this foundation looks in natural lighting in the middle picture. You can see here is what the foundation looks like with flash. So it does not look bad with flash. My under eyes are pretty bright. It gives minimal flashback. So I am pretty impressed by that. Um, besides it settling into my fine lines, I was able to use it throughout the week in a couple days. And I did find that when I set my face with my regular setting powder, that it did not settle into my fine lines as much. I also used less product and I was really, really impressed with how the foundation looked on my face throughout the day. At the end of the day, like after an eight hour day, I did notice that it settled into my fine lines, but not as much as in this video. So if you are thinking about purchasing this foundation, definitely use a light hand. And if you struggle with smile lines, definitely avoid a lot of product around your mouth. The only cons of this foundation is again, it's settling into fine lines lines and like I said the applicator can be very unsanitary you are putting this on your face and then putting it back into the bottle but again if that doesn't bother you and you're able to get a new foundation every couple months then this should be fine but if you struggle with acne and are very sensitive then I would definitely be cautious when purchasing this foundation but overall I really do like this foundation comments what you think about this foundation I love hearing from you guys and if you guys want more foundation reviews let me know what foundations you would like me to review next thank you guys so much for watching see you in my next video bye guys